Hi guys and welcome back to All Read What She's Reading. I'm Michaela. I'm Reggie. And I'm Kennedy. Why did my voice sound so weird? It sounded like I was narrating. Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. This to is my- all scripted. <laughs> got a teleprompter. We have a teleprompter right above the camera actually. Um, <laughs> and this week we got your guys' input and we are responding to you guys selling us books in one sentence i'm excited you i haven't read came, any of the responses you so. came through there were there are so many we're like a little overwhelmed but <laughs> zeus is trying to get up on the couch right now like, wait There's i want so to get <laughs> does that come <laughs> oh wait so that's cute. so cute <laughs> look at him are we our mascot <laughs> he's our mascot oh just let everyone know I'm, zeus is my dog <laughs> no he's mine just <laughs> the look of michaela just gave us no one else could take credit just kidding i'm joking he's everyone's dog he's so cute okay sorry we got way off topic because he's just adorable he is very cute i can cut that out <laughs> I love it. Okay. Should we just... Oh, actually, we are going to... Uh, sure. What we're going to be... Re- not what we're going to be reading. What we are... <laughs> Let me start it over. <clears throat> this week, we're going to share what we are currently reading. Yes. Um, let's have Kennedy start. Oh, I get to go? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just finished Mad Honey by... Is it Jody Pico? Is that how you say your last name? I don't know i have never heard of that book until you (laughs) um my sister told me she was she hyped it up a lot to me she said it was amazing and it was just meh for me um it tackles a lot of really interesting subjects and it kind of like opened my eyes to certain topics and like things that people go through that i've never really thought of before Mm -hmm. but it was like a 15 hour listen and it felt like it was a 15 hour listen, even though I listened on 2.25 speed. I don't understand how you <laughs> how do that. Girl do it? Um, it was really slow. I felt it was really predictable and it just wasn't my favorite book ever. Um, so that's what I listened to. And then I am currently reading Ashes and the Star Cursed King, which Michaela's also reading that. And the f- I hate. Mm, I am enjoying it, but it's been really hard for me to get into it. I don't know if it's because I'm super busy with work and I haven't really been able to like sit down and actually read it, but I've been reading it for like a week and a half and I'm still only like halfway through. I can relate. Yeah, it's just, um, it's taking me a second to get into it. Maybe because a certain character is being a little stubborn to me. Oh my gosh. And I'm like... Mm, can we just get get past that mm-hmm. uh that's the only thing that's making it hard because you know can i tell you that when i read that book i was having a hard time getting into it as well got to a certain point i was hysterically sobbing so like i just can't wait i don't know if i should now say i need that. to know but like i don't know if that encourages you to have i gotten into it I don't think so based off of where you are i'm trying to remember there if i can remember the exact chapter i don't want to say too much because i don't want it to like spoil any expectation but i was driving home in the car and my husband was driving and i was literally like hysterically sobbing and he was like are you okay i mean there's been there was i'm just very excited for you to get to that point just to see what you think so there's been a part where like i teared up but i don't know if it's the same part you're talking about i can't remember I, I'm gonna, i'll look i'll look it up here in just okay a sec. question how do you pronounce her name Araya? or Araya? is it how, we is, looked it up when we shot that I, wedding together I know, we did and i don't remember Araya, or is it uh, how I mean, did I you say it? Araya? Araya, Araya. either i can't remember okay anyways i was just curious i've been changing it up every single time i see her name <laughs> it's like me and Feyre the Maria. whole first entire book aurora <laughs> it's a good book it's just yeah. i don't i ate up the first one and this one i think it, it's because she's being wow stubborn. well and yeah. also 
we talked about this um, just to, when we were together, but I really think the novella um, got me less excited about it. And it's not because the novella was bad. It was very good. Yeah, I really, really liked good. it. But I was so excited after the first book to read the second book. And then the novella kind of made me lose my spark a little bit. Yeah. If that makes sense. Um, Are you supposed to read the novella in between? Because it's optional. at the end of this book, it has the novella, like a preview for the novella. Oh, interesting. But the end of the first book, I'm pretty sure is a preview for the second book. I want to say mm-hmm. I looked on Carissa Broadbent's Instagram and she had like this little graphic that kind of explained the whole world and she was saying like that the novella is optional but she placed it between the two so i think she puts at the end of like the second book as just like a in case you didn't read the novella Mm, okay okay where did how how how, what percentage did you say you were through the book i just want to know if you read this certain part yet i said like 53 percent let me open it is it really not gonna update? oh here we go I'm on page 335. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're, you haven't read what I think you okay. haven't read yet. So great. Keep me posted. Okay. I will. I feel like I'll send you photos of me crying from here on out. Hopefully. So yeah. Sorry. I'll try to catch up. It's okay. I'm like page. I don't know. It's fine. 80. It's all right. I'm it's really okay. trying. It's all right. It's hard to like sit down and read right now. Yeah, I get it. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, audiobooks have been my thing. Mhm. It's been like one in every 5 books that you will see on Goodreads is actually w- me sitting down and reading it and the other 5 are like audiobooks. So, which I know this is like not the topic for this episode, but I don't know why it irks me so bad when people say, like, they don't count audiobooks as books on their Goodreads. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, why not? Well, how else are you going to keep track of, like, your audiobooks? Yeah. Unless you put them on your Goodreads. Yeah. I don't know. It's like you're consuming the same media, like, the same. Is it because you're using your ears, not your eyes? But, like, Mm. I don't feel like you get an extra gold star if you like read something versus listen to yeah. it i wish but. i could multitask and read and drive at the same time same but i can't <laughs> like for how much we drive for good reason <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like i read two sentences or like what if it got somebody into reading like the girl we were talking to today where she's like i hate books but i love podcasts and we all were like have you heard of audio books <laughs> because yeah, really yeah yeah because she said she loved like um Thrillers. this was our bl- bank girl <laughs> sorry our banker our banker they're like who are you talking to uh our banker um she's like i love uh true crime, true crime true crime yeah podcast and i'm like they have those in uh book form uh which i think is sometimes a little more entertaining audiobooks so i like listening to a thriller book more than i like a true crime podcast for the most part so yeah i don't want to listen to true real crime it makes me scared scared, <laughs> scared. Oh, yeah, yeah I so can't. listen to fiction anyways reggie what right. about you um well i just finished dance of thieves it took me like a whole month to read <laughs> but i think i can tell you guys why it took me so long to read it so should i i don't know i don't know it's up to you reggie so i'm currently pregante (laughs) so i've been like in the thick of my first trimester and if any of you can relate to me to this i have never heard of this happening for anybody except for myself but reading especially on my phone i was getting this is why i need a kindle but i still am convinced that if i was reading on a kindle i would still feel nauseous reading was making me so sick it was weird i'd read like a page and then i was like (laughs) i'm gonna hurl (laughs) oh my gosh (laughs) (laughs) no noise came out and i was like (laughs) i was trying to be quiet and then she went (laughs) (laughs) sorry i'm sorry sorry okay Okay. no you're good okay um and so plus also like the free time that i had to, to like sit and read 
I was so tired like, I was the fatigue has just been getting at me anyways so if I like would like I'd be like I'm just gonna lay down and read and then I would fall asleep or I would like start to throw up so um maybe I shouldn't say that word I don't want anyone getting queasy but <laughs> it's just been very hard for me to read considering I also got COVID it's just been really <laughs> August has been a really rough month for me but um so Dance of Thieves took me took me a, a minute to read however I did like it a lot I liked it more in the beginning than I did the end which I feel like was opposite from what you guys had told me mm -hmm. um because I was expecting like a really really slow start but I was very like captivated by the beginning there was just something about this book and I know a lot of it was just like the circumstances of me reading it but like there was a something missing I don't know what it was I can't put my finger on it I just there was something more I was kind of hoping for I don't know but I wasn't like super wowed by the end but I'm very excited to read Vow of Thieves so I'm not like anxious to like read it like right this second but I'm still like wanting to continue to the story so um there's that and then I started Divine Rivals and I'm like three chapters in so far so good so hey book club book book club book yep mine yeah. just arrives in the mail so it looks beautiful it is beautiful i can read on my phone now so i'm reading because <laughs> i need a kindle but it's okay i'm getting one next month for my birthday so i love it yeah like kennedy said i am also reading ashes in the star curse king um yep we've already heard about how that's <laughs> going <laughs> and then i am currently listening to kingdom of the wicked now let me tell you I had no idea what this book was about. Uh, and boy, am I entertained. Actually, it's kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> but they do this whole production. I don't even know how to describe it. So it's like a, it's like a witchy book. Um, anyways, they have like intense music when intense parts are happening. And I was like, is my music playing right now? I literally had no idea that that's what I was that's so fun getting into. And there's even like a part... This doesn't give it away, but, like, in the beginning, they're, like, saying a spell, and, like, the narrator has, like, three voices, and so it sounds <gasps> like, you know how, like, they do, like, oh, like you know, yeah, yeah, in those movies yeah. where it's, like, three p voices, like, saying- Boil, this, boil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boil, boil. <laughs> Toil and trouble. Yeah. So, it's, like, some parts it has that, which is, it's just really, it's just really a fun listen. An immersive experience. Really, it is. That sounds really... Cool. It's, it's not distracting, is it? No. Okay. I feel like, honestly, it makes me, like, sweat more. I'm like... <sighs> yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, cleaning my house. I'm like... <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Let me just add this to my Libby. Wait, are you listening to it on Libby? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm adding this so fast. Yeah, remind me what it is called. Kingdom of the... Kingdom of the Wicked? Or Wicked of the... Ki nope, it's Kingdom of the Wicked. Oh. Over 14 weeks. I'm so sorry. It's worth it. It'll be worth it. I time. did wait that long, though. I will wait. Honestly, it's really... F it's been... I mean, I'm an early start to the fall. But it's like a witchy kind of read. Well, good. More to add to you our You sold me on in one sentence on the audiobook. Good job. So, that was a great transition, Kennedy. Yes. Oh, look at me. <laughs> look at me go. Let's get into our... You guys selling us on books. I feel so honored that you guys just took the time to know. respond to us and like genuinely we get such great responses from you guys and we can't thank you enough because we can't do these episodes without you guys and it's just crazy to me how yeah. how many of you will respond to us i mean i have a business account for my photography and nobody n i don't get responses like this on oh. my account like we do on our I'll read what she's reading account. So thank you guys. We love you. The reading community is the best. Yes. So. We heart you so very much. All right. We're just going to take turns. Yeah. Oh, mine like went in a changed order. Yeah, when so I did mine. It. So I guess we'll just kind of have to yeah. figure it out. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Who's going first? I've been talking a lot. So <laughs> someone else. Kennedy. You want me to go first? Yeah. I'll just start at the top. One. This is more this is more than one sentence but I'll, we'll let it slide. One. He holds up a finger and lets the soft smile pull on his lips. I loved you. 
Two, he extends a second finger and the smile falls flat. Not enough. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's When We Were by D- Diana Elliott Graham. Guys, you guys are putting me. That's savage. Ooh. I'm just going to be adding these to my Goodreads. Literally. In a deep hole of my TBR. When oh, I'm sold. Wow. Okay, wait. The next one is the same author and same book. Oh, I don't know if it's the same person that submitted it. I mean, they're right next to each other on mine. I don't know about you. Yeah. But it says, I ugly cried on my husband's lap after finishing this book. And when I could finally see through my tears, I emailed the author. <gasps> okay, they are in the same order. <gasps> when oh, I'm work. so sold. Oh, pulling up my Goodreads ASAP. It's already on my want to read, but yeah, so that I'm- might be going up in my roster. When we were, wait, this is already on my t- TBR too, I think. I don't know anything about it. But that sounds wonderful. Wait. Um, okay. A poetic werewolf <laughs> romance that will make you forget about Jacob from Twilight. Shiver by Maggie Stevator. You did great. Stevator. I have no Stevator. idea how you pronounce that. Ooh. Werewolf mm. romance. Okay. He's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> but he can't kiss anyone once upon a broken heart Ooh. these two have no idea who i'm talking about you they will soon find kiss out kiss anyone i, l- I can't wait to hear how that plays out i'm intrigued mm. you guys will never guess I'm dying to but find it's out. okay oh i'm so excited anyways let's get back over to kennedy okay romeo and juliet meets the hunger games delirium by lauren oliver Ooh. i've heard that's really good i think my sister-in-law actually recommended it to me is it a standalone series no it's a series it's a series mm. mm-hmm. i think there's three books in it let me look i added it i just added it to my goodreads i think there is why is it not the youtubers are really getting a show with all my yawning <laughs> it has three three yeah but there's also like novellas which cool. okay but there's three mm-hmm. so it's like um shatter me kind of mm-hmm. i think it's just a dystopian romance yeah so. dystopian love that love very it very cool okay because i uh, 1920s plus spooky ghost murderer the diviners by libba bray a spooky ghost spooky ghost murderer in the, In the 19 the roaring 20s oh. i feel that like that fun. would be such a vibe because like i'm sure she'd go into detail about like flappers yeah. and like speakeasy yes. yeah, yeah. Ooh. sounds fun yeah that does sound fun i'm so i mean that sold me so i am sold okay. Forced proximity scene with a morally gray fire prince in a bathtub and a female main character who is his prisoner. King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Yeah. Aveyard? How do you say her last name? Mm, Okay. That's a part of the Red Queen series. Mm. I want to read that series. I actually completely forgot (laughs) (laughs) everything that happened in that series. So. You read it? Mm Mm-hmm. It's right there. Oh, I thought it was there, but you hadn't read it yet. No, I've read oh, it. Oh, was it good? Yeah. The first book was my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Well, now I want to hear about this Forks Pros- proximity scene. So cool. I do not remember that at all. So <laughs> please recap me. Okay. Ooh. My turn? Mm-hmm. Okay. This one's technically, I think, two sentences, but I forgot that I've read this book before and it's kind of cool. Uh, In the past, she's searching for her sister's killer. In the present, a journalist retraces her steps in order to find her while recording it on a podcast. Sadie by Courtney Summers. Mm. It's a very Mm. cool audiobook because I want to, I can't remember if it's two different narrators or she just kind of like changes her voice. So you're getting like the perspective of Sadie searching for her sister and then the journalist is like podcasting herself trying to solve the case kind of interesting okay so and you've read that one 
Listen yeah, I listen to? to it as an audiobook. And okay. I would recommend it as an audiobook for sure. Mm, okay. So. I love that. Okay. Okay. Um, an octopus. You know, <laughs> oh, I know I know this book already. You've already read it? No, but I know what you're I know what book it is. An octopus and a widow become best friends and embark on a beautiful journey showing what it feels like to have a love taken fr- from you only to find it again in the most unexpected places i does that go where it goes i think it goes i don't think it's like that no. okay i was like <laughs> no um it oh sorry i forgot to say the title remarkably bright creatures by shelly shelby van pelt that sounds oh, like i've seen like that i've heard about yeah, that book i didn't really know it was like actually about an octopus but i know that's like on the cover my sister-in-law says it's really really good huh oh. i tried listening to it I, I had it on libby and i made it like 15 minutes and i i just it wasn't the time it wasn't the time it sounds interesting i would like to say it's my cup of tea maybe maybe i'm being over overly judgmental i should give it a chance i mean i think it's like fiction okay and i don't think like you super enjoy fiction no. just like straight up fiction but my sister wants said it's really good okay. so okay it's okay still a little curious anyways go. the reader and main character in the book fall in love between the lines jody pico and samantha van leer so Ooh. me the reader i don't know that's just what it says falls in love i mean i do that anyways <laughs> <laughs> i don't know Believe so are they talking to us i don't know oh i'm intrigued i'm Same. very intrigued that sounds cool Same. oh i want to f- have them talking how to me how do people come up with these things i don't know well what i find interesting is like so the last jody p the mad honey book that i talked about earlier this episode is by jody pico too and another author and i find it interesting when two authors like converge in a book together mm. so they both bring their strengths into a book yeah anyways i think that'd be pretty fun i'm I sure know. it'd be a, a little hard mm-hmm. at times and i'm sure it could bring up drama and stuff like that but i still think if people can make it happen it's really cool so like when yeah. are we gonna write a book all together hmm <laughs> Uh, we're doing that on a podcast remember? oh you're right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you're right doing that. okay this one says the selection but make it with magic fey and deadlier Ooh. trial Ooh. of the sun queen by nisha j tooley that Ooh. is on my list i'm adding it it looks really good i mean i enjoyed the selection but if it could have had some magic some fey and some deadly elements to uh-huh. it i'd be reading that fast so that sounds good very cool a story of two girl best friends who are complete opposites and their friendship throughout life from the 70s to the early 2000s full of drama that has me nostalgic from when i was a kid firefly lane by Kristen hannon isn't that a movie yeah it actually is on netflix with um that sounds wholesome. i didn't know it was a book yeah it has what's her bucket in it on netflix i can't think of her name the girl that plays in gray's anatomy yeah can't think of her name but <laughs> that's helpful the one that plays izzy oh okay yeah um her name is wait it has katherine heigl katherine heigl yeah yeah interesting it's a tv show yeah Every tattoo BJ has on his body is for Magnolia, even after all the years they've been separated. Magnolia Park series by Jessa Hastings. Magnolia. We know Kennedy loves Magnolia Parks. So, does I, do I have it. one question. Yeah. This BJ character, mm-hmm. does he get made fun of for his nickname? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to remember because that's not his real name. Like, BJ stands for something, I'm pretty sure. Well, how did he get that nickname? <laughs> I think she's like <laughs> something like it's his like first two initials. I okay. think I'm trying to remember. What it's B J Ballantyne. Terrible first two initials. I mean, mm-hmm. no, they never make fun of it. Which that group of friends would definitely be the type to make fun of it. I was just curious because <laughs> I, I would make fun of it. Oh, sorry to any uh, B J. Sorry, out there. sorry. I mean, it's a great nickname. So great. 
<laughs> all right Reggie, your turn okay okay sharing this one just because it's so sweet she's so beautiful it disarmed me her very existence was my reason for smiling for being happy to wake up in the morning yours truly by abby jimenez <gasps> abby jimenez she writes great books she does she writes what great she write? books romance I, she, she, uh, she i just read the first one to yours truly so like it's like one of those romance books where um the first one is about two characters and then like the first like the a character's in it and then the second book is about that oh, character cool like you, the best friend or whatever mm-hmm. the one me and michaela read the friend zone yeah the one where michaela said that she like was hysterically crying do you remember that video she sent us yes yeah uh-huh. it, you gotta read it it's okay. good it's and i've good. literally been waiting for the ha- happy ever after playlist on my libby app for Same. like three months now <laughs> i'm ready to read it it's there she writes really good just like yeah. wholesome so, feel good oh romance yeah. novels. I, I enjoy her writing a lot the tbr yours truly love it okay <clears throat> we got this is about uh, wow this is a, a book that's already been talked about this episode but i'm gonna say it again um your royalty status all depends on the color of your blood which red queen a red queen yeah that's cool yeah you guys there are so many good fantasy series that we like i haven't even read yet i know and it gets overwhelming to me but then i'm like how cool that like i will always have a good fantasy series to read you know I and then there's Michaela over there like <laughs> red <queen. laughs> read them all no i ha- really haven't there's so many books out there i wonder is red queen dystopian no it's i don't know i don't know much about it i don't know what the category is but it's one of the two all right here's our next one she can't decide which boy she wants to be with for three whole books wow i'm sold (laughs) do you know what i'm talking about summer i turn pretty yep I just finished the last episode yesterday. Yeah. Of season two. Yeah. Oh, we all know Honestly, what? we should do a whole entire episode just on the summer I turned pretty. The summer. I mean, I'll I've just never read the books. I'll about it. Just kidding. I won't complain. Are the books better than the TV show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound unsure. Uh, I can't remember. I really just remember hating Belly. Mm. yeah i just Mm. wanted to punch her in the face the entire time i was watching this show so i think uh i don't know that was very harsh of me to say i just kind of wanted to like i just yeah they're just um they're childish and immature yeah books um they're young adult um so i mean they're good for young adult i just think her books uh really just appease to the younger generations like to all the boys i loved before okay, yeah. you know like the type of people that are like shy talking around boys and stuff we all had that face we did you know like where are you going zeus sorry <laughs> youtube you get a little sneak of zeusy okay <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing he's gonna want to take a uh, take a seat on the merch he literally is <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, you can't see this off camera zeus just laid on our merch um that's laying on the ground that's our bad our bad our fault whose is that it's mine and mine Michaela's. oh yeah. okay don't worry it's not your guys <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway anyway you're uh, up reggie. reggie okay this one i just have questions a heartwarming and hilarious tale of a woman who decides to help an old kind of bitchy friend sorry is it okay to say that word mm-hmm. by babysitting her extremely flammable children <laughs> what <laughs> flammable flammable <laughs> children what is the book nothing to see here by kevin wilson does she kill her children why do i feel like she said flammable because she said someone fire i don't know i'm a i'm a little scared 
but it's a heartwarming and hilarious tale (laughs) hilarious maybe oh they have like superpowers Oh. it says well, like jack jack like the incredible yeah oh okay <laughs> yeah she's just, yeah she's caring for two children with remarkable and disturbing abilities okay oh it literally sounds like the little incredible short where kari is babysitting jack jack lennon loves watching that i've seen it five it's, million times it's like five minutes long this book That's is only 280 it, pages my kind of book oh mm, okay yeah actually all right i'd love to read a book about jack jack yeah okay one husband with the wife for each day of the week oh so he has a wife on each day like a different wife each day of the week <gasps> it's called the wives by taryn fisher mm. the that wives. sounds my jealous self can never do that but it sounds very interesting mm. i wonder if it's the, from the point of view of the wives or if the it's from the point yeah, of view that's of what I was the, say. it's a thriller husband, husband. oh Ooh. Thursday's husband, Seth, has two other wives. She's never met them and she doesn't know anything about them. But she knows they exist. One day she finds something, something that tells a very different and horrifying story about the man she married. Oh. Mm. Interesting. My sister marked it as want to read, so. Mm. Interesting. Hmm. Sweet. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, well, guys. Those are. Th- our responses that we're going to share so i hope that gave you some good book recommendations definitely gave me some me too i'm gonna be adding all of these to my tbr Mm -hmm. um you guys came through yeah um sorry if we didn't talk about all the responses we had (laughs) we had so many um so we just just picked it out picked picked it up (laughs) picked at random a few of them so hopefully next time we do this we'll get some more responses and we'll uh tell you some more again for sure all right now we're gonna talk about the merch our pre-order is coming out tomorrow september 21st Mm -hmm. thursday friday saturday yeah yeah so it is going to be a pre-order and it's only going to be up for four days Mm -hmm. and that's your only chance you have to secure the merch once this pre-sale is done you won't be seeing these on our website so if you're wanting to grab a tea or a crew you got to grab them this weekend yeah anyways we think they're pretty cool um if you guys want more information or like just like what they look like um they'll be on our instagram and our tiktok um so yeah we're very happy with them join the club can't wait to see you guys in them if you order one tag us in your stories when you get it It will take because it is a pre-order it will take three weeks three to six weeks i think it's four to six i think it's four about four to six weeks for you to actually get it just because it will it it is a pre-order so you'll have them just in time for the cozy fall and we just can't wait we're so excited and we're so excited to see you guys in them too yes follow us on tiktok or instagram at what she's reading pod see you next week <laughs> bye, bye. 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 <laughs>